Hey guys, we're back here with the X32, and today we're gonna do a fast, easy, simple as can be update. We're updating to Windows 11. No, I'm kidding. The firmware that we are gonna be updating to on this is 4.06, I believe. And before we do anything, we're gonna throw it on a flash drive. On this flash drive, in, to be particular, in particular. So let's do that right now. First thing we wanna do is go to Behringer.com. That's B-E-H-R-I-N-G-E-R.com. Then we'll want to go to the X32 page. So I will just search it. And we'll come up with all the X32 models and submodels that they have, that they make. Uh, I will, since I have the big one, I will, or the full size, full version, I will click on that. I suppose it'd be recommended to go to the one that you have. Now, we do not want the editors. Uh, this is their product library. So the editors are uh, like a re remote that you can install on your computer that goes via USB, I believe, only. May They may have updated it, but you can control your mixer through USB on your computer. Uh, XUSB, I think that's so your, your recording software on your computer can recognize your um, mixer. USB driver um, something to help with USB compatibility I suppose uh, these actually these actually might be a different uh, digital mix mixer or interface that they have uh, live I don't I don't think I've dealt with that but anyway what we want to look for is firmware version and I believe this is higher than the one I have right now mine's like three point something something this is 4.06. We'll click on this, we'll read all that, if you're interested, and download it. Now, it sh do you want to download on, yes, I will allow, I do want to allow that. Now, this, will this pop up? No, okay. Sometimes when you download things, it pops up with uh, corresponding software. What I want to do is throw that on the desktop for now, clear that, actually close that window altogether. This is the USB drive that I am gonna put it on. As you can see, there's nothing on it, which is pre recommended. What's actually in here, let's see. So this is a PDF, obviously. Um, just gives you a whole bunch of information. This is also, command code information, or looks like older firmware updates and their features and improvements. Um, that we do not need as well. We are looking for the update, so 4.06 update. What we'll do is, it works best probably if it's the only thing on the flash drive, and that was pretty quick. So after that, we will eject it and uh, update the firmware on the X32. All right, guys, now we have the firmware update on this flash drive for the X32. First step is make sure it's sticking out and put it in the USB recorder data slash audio port. It's a USB port. Second step, push and hold the view button as if it was, you know, the, this is just like the view button up there. Just push and hold. So push and hold. Keep it uh, pressure on it, and then turn it on. And since it's the only file on there, it should find it just fine. Comes up with this um, update prompt kind of thing, and it starts doing its jazz. So it'll it'll take a little bit to do, but um, it should. It, it found it. It says update uh, 4.06-0-G31, whole bunch of information we don't need to know. Um, 
completed. And now it's booting. And I wish I could update my phone or my laptop computer or whatever that quickly. It's taking a little bit longer to boot than normal, but it is the first time it's booted this version of the firmware. So that is understandable. Hopefully it can boot it quicker next time. It may still be installing things. Upgrading, so it's still loading, research files, updating, updating folder, it's still updating things. So it's not, I don't know, maybe it is ready, ready to boot, but you know, it's still thinking about things. So, you know, aces are wild. Uh, no, anyway. And it looks like it's done. Okay, welcome to firmware version 4.06. Uh, looks like it gives you a little bit of an update versus things that have changed versus... I haven't done it the, la the second latest, so I would imagine at least from the second latest to now is what the, these this is. So apparently they did something with the matrix MC slash or M says sleep, M slash C, and the LR channels, oh, can be assigned to DCA and mute groups. Cool. Uh, snippets can now contain the stereo left, right switch parameter. Parameter safe, control surface. Parameter safe for control surface state whatever that is i don't i i don't know what that is leave that in the comments if you've used an x32 before if you've used that particular feature uh dca spill does not move unused faders huh fixed dca spill color and mute group assignment sign issues Updating the firmware can cause data loss. That's not that big of a deal for me anyway. So, given that, uh, try to always have like a, a backup of all your, your scene settings or whatever you want to save on a flash drive. Probably not the same flash drive you're trying to use to update it, but that's always a good idea. I mean, for some reason, it the next day you turn it on without doing an update, it could... You know, you could lose all your settings, who knows? Uh, make sure to restore your console backup made prior to the update. Select the firmware header on the setup slot dash global page to show the scene again. Okay, so we'll close that. Um, this may have changed since on this machine, but um, or all the appearance of all these pages, but I think I've been using the second to last page, uh, second to last um, version of the, the firmware at the Church of Run Sound at, so it doesn't really look any different, really, to me. Um, that looks a little different too. I mean, they do little um, bug fixes, I guess, and sometimes they change the appearance. So that's what you can look forward to on a firmware update. And wasn't that easy, guys? Come on. Come on, man. I mean, you just hold a button and switch the, the, the power on. So if you like this, guys, uh, you wish your phone was this e easy to update or anything you use normally, uh, you know, leave a like. If you uh, have any comments, leave a comment, like, subscribe, share. Um, yeah, so hope you guys are having a good day. Enjoy the nice weather coming up, and I'll see you in the next one.